Ireland Graham Mulcahy ahead of the launch this year's AIB GA Club Championships and AIB Camogie Club Championships that will see AIB celebrating hashtag the toughest players of all, those who don't quit, who keep going and persevere no matter what. I suppose it's nice, nice to get an introduction, Graham, back into the club championship that you'll fondly remember from only a couple of years ago. Yeah, like it's 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 been kind of seven years since we won the county in, in 2014, so it's it's great to get back to another Munster Club campaign. It's a it's a special a special um, championship and great time of year running into Christmas to be to be playing hurling with your club. I suppose it's a couple of weeks now since you beat Patch Swell in that county final. I suppose first of all, how are the bodies in Kilman look after a really grueling championship in Limerick? Yeah, it was a it was a good championship. I think it was run off over the space of six or seven weeks, so. So I gave gave um teams a chance to get a few games together and get on get on a bit of a run and build momentum and um it was great to come out the other side of it from our point of view and and take the time now to the last couple of weeks to kind of recover recover from the celebrations and from the championship and and now start building towards the the Munster semi final on the twelfth of December. You talk about momentum, I suppose, for yourselves. The campaign got off to a very slow start and the loss to Beershig and then. He kind of pulled it up, pulled it out at all costs against Bally Brown, and then in South Liberties they gave it to you. But you you slowly got better, and by the end of the championship you were fully deserving winners. Yeah, I think so. Like the the Bally Brown and South Liberties game, certainly we scrubbed through them with the skin of our teeth, and then put it put together. I suppose our two best performances against Dune and Patrick Swell. So that momentum certainly from those two earlier games um stood to us, stood to us um in the latter stages of the championship. And what's it like preparing for a club championship when you don't know who you want to play in, whereas although we don't know who's going to come out of Cork, they know that whoever comes out of there, they're going to play in Kilmallock. Um, I suppose, yeah. It's, they're not focusing really on us at the moment. They're definitely just focusing on on the Glen or focusing on Middleton and, and vice versa. Um, whereas it was, we have the, the benefit of, of being able to sit back and, and I suppose watch that game on, on Sunday and try and learn a little from where we're, we're going to be facing. Um, I suppose the other side of it is we won't have a competitive game um, for over seven weeks. Well, they'll have this game, I suppose, to try and um, build some momentum into the into the Monster Club. So, yeah, there's kind of pluses and minuses for both. I suppose for yourselves, you've been able to kind of fully focus on yourselves. Um, obviously, you won the county championship, but there was definitely things you could improve on. It's very nice that you can fully focus on yourselves and not to worry about the car champions because you don't know who you're going to play. Yeah, it is exactly like we've we've kind of got back together now in the last week or two and there's certainly things we've 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 pinpointed that we need to focus on um going into the into this monster club and I suppose the time of year it is and the conditions you're going to be playing and it's 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 actually going to be a totally different game to what we might have had maybe a month ago so um I think discipline wise I think that'll be a massive thing with freeze at this time of year is and the concession of freeze especially if you're coming up against free takers like Patrick Horgan or Conor Lehan like um the concession of freeze is is going to be key. And have you noticed that since the, the county campaign came to an end that the pitches are getting that bit heavier and it's just harder to play hurling? Yeah, definitely. In the space of a fortnight, I think the pitches um, from from when we played the county final to, to two weeks later is they're they're miles apart. Um, the the ground has got a lot softer and, and the game's going to get that bit more slower and that bit more physical. So yeah, it's a, it's an adjustment everyone will have to make. And you're obviously going to have home advantage. I know the Kilmallock fans would travel anywhere, but it is a bit of a, a bit of a bonus to be playing in front of your own. Yeah, it is. It is great. Like, I'm not sure are we going to be playing Kilmallock or potentially the Gaelic grounds. So, but either either venue, obviously, um, we'll have plenty of experience there. And you obviously it was only seven years ago that you won the championship, the Munster Championship. That is, and there's a lot of players still from that time. But there seems to be a good few of a new breed coming through, the likes of Liam English and Kieran O'Connor in defence, and obviously. Yeah, you know, and Oshin O'Reilly have really come into the forwards. Yeah, like these guys have really stepped it up this year, and so that's what we've been kind of missing maybe the last five or six years is that fresh blood just to come in and, and drive around that bit, that extra bit. Um, certainly, Kieran and Liam English and Michal and and Oshin, like it's their first county medal, and we'd be delighted for them. They've put in a savage year, um, and they've been just so consistent in their performances. Um, it's 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 made all the difference. And how do you how do you approach a Munster campaign? Whereas obviously to start of the year, it's going to be fully focused on getting out of Limerick, and then once you get out of there, it's a completely new competition. Like, where's the mindset at the moment? Um, I suppose the mindset at the moment, really, I suppose all year we've been taking it game by game. Like, we winning a county wasn't really our focus at the start of the year because I suppose we've been so far off it. Well, not so far off, but we, like we haven't 
really come near winning county in, in the last five years. So um, I suppose this this monster semi final will take the same approach. It's another game, and if we can get over the line and put ourselves in the best possible chance of of, of getting to a monster club final, um, that's all we can really do at this stage. And for yourself, Graham, you obviously kind of struggled with injury to start the campaign. Um, you were flying it in the county final man the match today. You're peaking at the right time from a personal point of view. Yeah, I suppose like the that that county final is just one performance though, and um, I suppose any of the, the top players in the game or any game any any other sports really pride themselves on and putting together consistent performances, um, or consistently performing at the top of the top of the, their game. So, yeah, that's just one performance and. I suppose I need I'd need to really, um, I suppose put it together back to back performances the next day hopefully to, to really um, um, I suppose show that I, that 